Today I'm talking about one-shot adventures. Whether you're a new DM or a veteran DM looking to run a fun side adventure, one-shots are a great idea to try D&D or just to play the game without a long-term commitment. One-shots let you explore quick stories, try characters out, all in a single session, but they do come with their own challenges. Keep the plot simple and focused. One-shots, by design, are short adventures, so there's no need to make a complex story with loads of subplots. The goal here is to get the players to the action quickly and keep them focused on one single objective. Think about the plot as if it's a laser beam and the players have to follow it. It should be direct and easy to follow. Start by asking yourself, what's the core mission? Are the players rescuing someone, retrieving a lost artifact or stopping an imminent threat? For example, you could have hired them to investigate a haunted mansion or track down a notorious thief Whatever it is, it should be something they can grasp quickly and immediately dive into. The key here is that the players don't spend half the session figuring out what's going on. They can jump straight into the action. Set a clear time limit. Unlike a campaign where you can take your time exploring side quests, one shots need to be wrapped up in a single session, which presumably will be about three to four hours, depending on your group's pace. Now keeping track of time can be tricky, so I like to break the adventure into three acts. Introduction, middle conflict, and the final showdown. That's kind of obvious, right? The introduction, where you set the problem. The middle, where they face the obstacles. And the final is the resolution. Usually a big boss fight, you know. So by setting your game like this, you can keep an eye on the time in blocks. And you know when it's getting time to move the story on. Drop encounters you've had set or add them to fill to that time slot. Prepare in advance, but be ready to improvise as always. Preparation is key, especially for one-shots. You'll want to have a good idea of the plot, key NPCs and any major encounters, but it's really important not to lock yourself into a rigid plan. Players have a way out of surprising you, whether it's solving a puzzle in a way you didn't expect or coming up with a creative solution that bypasses an entire section of your adventure. I recommend having a solid outline for your adventure, but having bullet points for each section. You don't need to know every single detail, but you should be familiar enough if the players go off script that you can handle it. The key here is to just stay flexible. If they come up with a clever solution, then reward it. If they miss part of the story, you can adapt it and work it into the game later. You can have the story find them. And also use pre-made characters. One-shots are fast-paced by nature, and character creation can really eat up valuable time. Pre-made characters allow you, the DM, to tie the, them into the plot in creative ways, like giving them a personal stake in a mission. If your group insists on making their own characters, try to streamline the process. Keep it to the essentials, species, class, and a couple of defining traits that fit into the one-shot. You don't need detailed backstories or extensive levelling up, just enough to get them going. The quicker they're ready to go, the better. Jump straight into the action. There's no need for a slow build-up like in a campaign. Start the adventure in the middle of the action. The players might already be in the dungeon, or maybe they're in a tavern brawl at the start. This approach skips over the getting to know you portion, and your players get invested immediately. Plus it sets the tone for the entire adventure. Get in, get on with it. So balance your encounters carefully. In a one shot, every encounter needs to count. You'll want to find the sweet spot where the encounters are challenging, but not overwhelming. If the players have to deal with constant combat, they might not have the time or resources to finish the adventure. I recommend having one big memorable combat at the end and spacing out smaller challenges like puzzles, traps or social encounters along the way. This keeps the pace varied and allows your characters to shine in different ways. Remember that not everything needs to be solved with combat anyway. Role playing and problem solving are a great way to keep the game fresh. Play to your character's strengths and interests. Every group is different. Some players love to do combat encounters, while others might prefer the story and the role playing. The best part about one shots is that they give you a chance to experiment. So if you usually do more combat focused stuff, Try one that's more role-playing and vice versa. Introduce your players to a new experience at things you might want to try later. Finally, have a clear ending. Since you're working within a time limit, you might not hit every plot point, but that's fine. Whether they succeed the mission or they fail spectacularly, have a satisfying conclusion ready. Maybe they defeat the villain, or maybe they fail, but gain a new ally in the process. Or maybe they uncover a bigger mystery. You can always run another one shot later. And if all goes to pot and you haven't planned it, then just roll with it. Sometimes the surprise endings are the best ones.